<laughs> so here we are again, right? Here we go again. Cardi. She's getting a divorce. Filing from a divorce from offset. Who didn't see this coming? <laughs> and I feel bad because there's a child involved. You know? It's a child involved in this process. So you feel bad and then again you, you don't. Because you know they were both young, mad young, doing this. Like all this success for Cardi that has come along, you know, this has come along at a time where you know where when you go from strip clubs like if you guys knew a stripper's life and have been around strippers have party with strippers have slept with strippers you understand that there's an emptiness there <laughs> like this wasn't on the resume for anybody else in the face of this planet you know this is like the bottom lowest you're gonna go next to just doing straight out tricks even though they are doing tricks and <laughs> they find out that it's not just for kids <laughs> tricks is for strippers now some don't want to go that route and be like I'm not gonna do that not for the turn tricks but they do they can't help it now did Cardi participate in this absolutely that boob job and teeth job <laughs> that didn't come <laughs> that didn't come from um, collecting a bunch of singles on the floor now, Carcino knows these things. So go ahead and subscribe to the page if you're new here. And for everybody else, welcome. Hope you got your notification. So that's why you got to click that bell. Hit the like button on the video. My cash app is Carcino. That's how you support the page. K-A-R-C-E-N-O. And thanks for everybody who gave me a pickup. You know, out of the down spiral I've been on. But we back, baby. We on our feet. We're going to keep moving. Now, I have been informed that things have been a little bit brutal for Cardi. Growing up in that life, you become empty. So when you start having all of this success, reality show success, music success on your debut album boom you become this mega star then you in a relationship like right away you know with another person who's a star in his own field now y'all a power couple and every week this guy's in a, a new scandal right and you guys have made business investments together, real estate property. You guys got a lot of things on the plate, a lot of things in development over there in Georgia. Now, we ain't going to talk about that, but she knows what I mean. Now, I mean, it's legal. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, let me not make it as if it's an illegal thing. Is actually a very good idea what they're doing. <clears throat> but this um, union was a union made in hell. 
Absolutely. A union made in hell. So Cardi wants custody of culture, which she will get. Quite sure no judge is going to hand him a baby. You always have these, uh, sorry about that, I got a text during the middle of my conversation. Uh, it was an important read. <sighs> I got to do that right after this. But when you get to a situation like Cardi, it's like you're trying to take somebody who is on a whole different path. You took a poon hound. And tried to make him into what you wanted him to be. You want him to be this faithful man who's only faithful to you. No. 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 No, Carl. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> and you got a guy who just is freaky and nasty right along with you. And you liked it, y'all. But you want to keep Mr. Nasty over there with you. And Mr. Nasty is like, look, I've been nasty with everybody. Because this is what I do. You know that when you met me. You almost went to jail because of me <laughs> fighting other strippers. If you want to find Offset, find him in the nearest strip club. <laughs> Build a strip club, he will come. He can't help it. No man like that <laughs> at 25, 26 years old, it going to go the rest of his life with you. No. Can you imagine the conversation between the two? What are y'all doing? I got your baby. You should be proud to be with me. I make millions of dollars a year on my own. You told me another stripper that's gonna give you that. What come you got all these naked strippers in your phone? That's my, I just found that phone and I just started using it. It was already on there. You a liar! I know a liar when I hear one. I used to say the same thing. I had people like you come in every day to give me money. Now what she got that I can get by Dr. Zem Fema? Hmm? I can go to Dr. Zim Fema and get that by tomorrow. What does she got that I don't? Now, do I need to get bigger boobs? I keep getting them bigger. If I get them too bigger, I'm going to knock over everything in the house. What more do I got to do? Um, I don't know. I think you overreacted. So you ain't been at the strip club every day this week? And who is this? She said all set. That's your name. Why is she saying your name if it's somebody else's phone? See, you think I'm stupid. No, nah, actually not. She was just a fan. And I told you I just started using the phone. Right, you know how she worked? You know that place I go over there to get my breakfast at? Yeah, she, she, she worked there. And, you know, I go there and get my food. So you see me. I go get my food. I, I take the baby with me. So everybody know I'm with you. So... I ain't doing nothing. She jumped on my lap. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. What's her name so I can go and put out all her hair one string at a time? I'm going to take out her hair one by one and you're going to sit there and watch me count as I pluck it all out of her hair. Then I'm going to get my sister Hennessy. Then I'm going to get my homegirls and then we're going to go to work on her. <laughs> now, where she work? <laughs> She trying to break out my home. I'm sick of you. <laughs> I love you too. Now, what time we going to strip club? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah, she's be straight. She just, you know, going off a little bit. But yeah, I'll meet you at the club. <laughs> yeah, so these two have been on this train for a very long time. 
they've been ready to implode for how many years? They've only been married three. They've been screwing around for four. Come on. I'm telling you. Then you got Nikki trying to follow suit. Because she saw all the success Cardi got from it. Oh, Cardi got her baby. I think I need a baby. I want someone to marry me. But I can't, can't marry Nas. He too godly. I need somebody that's going to understand me. Ooh, that's one. Hi, boo. You just get out. Yeah, I took care of that. <laughs> there ain't no hear from him no more. Oh, can you wash that blood off your hands and take me to dinner? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> and then, that's where they are right now. <laughs> Now she's going to have her baby like, oh, this is my baby. <laughs> Me and my man. So that's the reality they hit it. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the reality that they are headed towards, man. It's insanity. How fame, success, popularity all put people in this false, false reality, you know? False sense of security. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, people like Lizzo. I'm sending flowers to Cardi. You know, I'm just so proud of her for, I love her so much. I'll be like, she don't love herself that much. Because if she did, she wouldn't put all that junk on her body. Then she go and lipo herself because she don't have no discipline when it comes to being healthy and eating healthy. Don't you realize that even with the lipo? Huh? Even with the lipo nympho? What's going to happen? You're going to start eating again and blow right back up. But this time, you can't keep going under the knife. It gets more dangerous every time they do this procedure. You know that, right? Oh, you didn't? Well, get used to it. You'll learn. Get used to it. You're gonna learn. Well, people gotta understand something. Either you're gonna stand for something or you're gonna stand for nothing at all. Congratulations to him. <laughs> Somebody, they happy. Be happy for him. Yeah, I'm happy for him. Who cares? Now, <laughs> where was I? Go ahead and I would take everything that somebody else was saying and put it into perspective. Meaning, in translation, to put it in perspective, what it truly means, don't bite the hand that feeding you. Offset's been doing okay, but then again not once he started reading the contracts. So money's been a little funny. And when money get funny, these type of things start happening. 
and when they start happening wow look at this Clippers lose and everybody start freaking out mm -mm -mm. let me guess who next Cardi and Drake <laughs> nah that won't happen that's too much feistiness for Drake. He ain't gonna be able to deal with all that fire. He be seen on you still think that's me. That's the old me. <laughs> what I got to do to say I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. All oh, the world's crazy. The world is cray, cray, cray. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna wind it down. Sinus taking its toll on me. I do think uh, I'll be with the Gandhian princess today, so we'll see how that go. Do a video over there with Jenny and them, so hopefully by the time this video come out, everything else over there will be rolling too. Or just about the roll, I don't know. No me, I'm not a genius. I just put the work in. So God bless all of you out there. And I love all you guys in the chat and all the females in the chat. Love your support. You guys come through all the time. You know, even though the notifications don't be going out and have been really going out well. You guys have stuck with it and found ways to find my videos because you already know what time it is. So when they do these type of things and these politics and these moves because they're trying to protect the relationships they have with these artists and these record companies, you know, you guys always come through and show the support and everything else. That's why I always work extra hard for you guys and make sure like, nah, they deserve the video, you know, they deserve this or they deserve that always make that conscious effort so with that being said I'm out